Now that we've talked about what Secure Shell is, and kind of a little bit about how it works, you may be asking yourself, well, why do I need that? Aren't there other protocols built into Windows and Linux that I can use that are a little uh, easier to use? Well, you're right, there are. Uh, a few of these are Telnet, FTP, and the R services that are found on Linux, such as R Shell, uh, R Copy, and things like that. Now, all of these are traditional protocols that we've used over the years to remotely access and administer systems. And we can use these on a wide variety of systems. Even today, they're still built in. Linux, Windows, Unix, BSD, and so forth. Telnet's a widely used. FTP we use quite often, especially when we're transferring files from one machine to another, uh, whether it be from machine to machine or over the web. So we still use a lot of these protocols that are out there. Uh, we use them for primarily remote administration, as I said, and remote file copy. However, and here's the big however, all of these protocols are also not secure at all. And what do we mean when we say that they're not secure? Uh, basically, they don't require any authentication really to speak of. I mean, there is a little bit of authentication in there, but not really. And the bad part about this is even when there is authentication, such as when you're logging in with your new username and password, these items are sent in what we call in the clear. In other words, they're not encrypted. Anyone can read this information if they have the ability to intercept these network communications and network traffic with what's called a sniffer. A sniffer is a piece of hardware or piece of software that's designed to intercept network traffic and take it off the wire and read it. So anyone with a sniffer can intercept these particular protocols and you can read the data, all of it, including usernames, passwords, the data you're sending, and so forth. So these are very insecure protocols. And I'm going to give you a demonstration as to how unsecure they are. And once we do that, then you'll probably be able to see why a secure shell is a good thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at intercepting and reading some unsecure FTP traffic. The first thing we're going to do is start Wireshark. Wireshark's a network analyzer, or sniffer program as we call it, and we're going to capture traffic sent between the two machines that we're going to use. So first we're going to click Capture, Interfaces, and then we're going to start capturing on the uh, interface. Now we're using uh, win the Windows XP box to capture traffic. So let's go ahead and start that. And then we're going to switch to OpenSUSE. And we're going to go ahead and connect to that FTP terminal on the uh, Windows box. We're going to say FTP 172.16.30.10. And it's sending that data across. We're connected. It's going to ask for our username. And our username in this case is VTC. And it's asking for a password. And I have a password configured in there already. And the password is VTC 2009 with an exclamation point. Of course, you don't see that on the screen, so you think this is actually very secure. Okay, we're logged on to the system. We've actually FTP'd to that Windows box. Let's go ahead and do an LS, which is a directory listing, and you can see that we have a standard My Documents folder listed. Let's go ahead and quit, and let's go ahead and switch back to the Windows box, and go ahead and stop our capture and look at the data. Let's see what we got. Now this uh, this basically captured a lot of data, a lot of traffic, primarily FTP traffic. What I want to show you in particular is a couple of things. First of all, we got the username that was sent across in clear text, but guess what we also got? Look down here. We've got the password that was sent across. This password was not encrypted. I told you what it was as we were sending it across the network but um, this sniffer actually intercepted that traffic because it was in plain text and grabbed that password. So now, if I'm an unscrupulous user that intercepted this traffic, now I have your username and your password. And that's troubling for a couple of reasons. First of all, now I can access that F FTP server and download data or upload malicious data if I want to and change it. Or uh, possibly I can try that username and password on a different system that's not FTP, such as a Windows login or a secure email server. 
because a lot of people use the same passwords and usernames for various different systems. So now I have a username and password to start with. So as you can see, this is a very troubling thing with FTP, and the same thing goes for Telnet and the R services. They work the same way. They, they're unsecure, and they send traffic across uh, that is not encrypted. So now you can see a real need for a method that you can use to send passwords, usernames, and data across the network that's not in the clear, that is encrypted, and that's why we have Secure Shell.